Hey Brick Maniacs, it is Lando here. Today joining me is Cody Osell with his all new CH-53E <laughs> Super Stallion. Yeah. Good break. Okay, welcome back. We have, uh, yeah, again, the all new CH-53E Super Stallion. Yes. Um, Sikorsky. Sikorsky, officially we can, licensed. We can say that now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, where do you want to start, Cody? Uh, I guess we'll go through a, a tad bit of history. A tad bit of history. I guess we can go, we can start with maybe some Brick Mini history. So, made the Pavlo mm -hmm. earlier this year, and this is pretty much the same thing. I actually built the design using the instructions for the Pavlo. Cheater. And just made some modifications of it. See, even master builders use instructions. Yeah, I copy people, mainly myself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> mainly just copy myself. Uh, yeah, so it's light gray version now. It's, it's a marine helicopter. Um, it was introduced in 1981, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a big family, these uh, 53 helicopters. There's quite a few. There's the Sea Dragon, there's the King Stallion, there's the Super Stallion, Sea Stallion, Pavlo, Jolly Green Giant, all that jazz. So there's quite a few that have the same size yeah. about and, and fulfill the same roles as a heavy, heavy lift helicopter. So main differences from this as opposed to its predecessors like the Pavlo is the main rotor now has seven blades instead of six. And, and you did fit seven on here. I did. It's a, That's it's a fun creative Pretty technique. crazy. You, yeah, the more you the more you show off this model, man. The more, yeah, the more camera guy. Isn't has that what stuff. the animation's for? So That's you can true. count seven on top. Yes. And the tail rotor is canted at twenty degrees. Twenty degrees, huh? Which was a difficult thing to do. So on the original paper. Turn that towards the camera a bit, so they can see that. See that cant? Cant. Can I see it? So that was uh, difficult to achieve and maintain the way I did the Pavlo where you spin the tail rotor and the main rotor is tied right. to it. So I had to eliminate that feature, unfortunately. But it still does collapse and fold off to the side um, just by removing two 1x4 tiles on the tail section. And you kind of unpin it and fold it up and off to the side. So it can do it. So it can do it. <laughs> so just like the Pavlo I made earlier this year, it does fold up and all the rotors collapse as well. Right. Um, which was difficult to achieve with seven blades. That does it okay. Yeah. It's, it's simpler to make them collapse, but it doesn't collapse quite as tightly as the Pavlos did. But it does do it. And they do that for carrier stowage. Right. Which was important for the Marines to put them on a carrier deck. And otherwise you can take off the top of the helicopter. So I, did, I built in a third engine. So this is a cool play feature right here. And you pull off. So it's held on by a handful of studs. So you can get inside and play with everything. And I, I included four winches on a helicopter. Ooh, so there's so one winch. inside attached to the roof. You can see it dangling here. You get a few different sizes of string. Which will drop through. So it drops through that hole in the center and guys can repel down it. Yes. Or they can also use it as a cargo winch. Right. And carry howitzers or Humvees. And the underside, I see. Other white vehicles. So there's another two under there yeah. that you can use as well. And then there's one off to the side here. This thing is just covered. Um, next to that door. So yeah, there's four in there. <laughs> I and think that's an unprecedented amount of winches for yeah, a Brick Mania kit. <laughs> for all I know, it could be the most winches we've had in a kit. <laughs> I think it. Probably um, by double. Yeah, <laughs> it could be. And so it's fun, fun play feature. Uh, still has the external fuel tanks. Again, everything's light gray now. It, it was dark gray before. Right. Um, I put in a couple more benches for the crew to sit on. So you can load this thing up with some soldiers right. as well. Um, you can fold down the benches. You can open up the cargo door in the back and there's another one attached to the roof that folds down. 
and yeah nice black floor on the interior there's some uh, cockpit details that's identical to the Pavlos yeah. artwork um, some Oops. fun Easter eggs in that printed artwork on, on the dash or the instrument panel uh, we have the M2 HBs with the GA GAU 18 barrels I believe they are um, it's a rare item that we have I think the only time we've used them other than this kit now is the Pave Hawk, okay. which we had a couple years ago. Right. I think it's the first time Will made that barrel, and that's the first time we've used it. And we also have the feed chute, uh, the rubberized feed chute. Yeah, I love that. Those machine guns. That rubberized feed chute looks so, really sweet. That's a ton of fun. Yeah. Uh, other printed parts, we put printing on the windows on the side of the fuselage. Nice. So, so that is printed. Give it, give it a nice perimeter, because um, they're, they're a little bit more rounded, and it's a nice printed element that was not included on the Pavlo. So right. It is included in this model. There's more printing. Those are really cool window tiles. Or panels, right? Panels, yeah. And there's uh, chaff and flare dispensers that we printed um, on this section back here. And a lot of pictures I saw, they were missing some of them. Uh -oh. Like they'd already been fired. So we included that feature. Right? Right. There's some of them, it looks like honeycomb or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some larvae in there. Um, that was a fun feature. Uh, Slam did a great job mm -hmm. on the artwork. A lot of it was repurposed, just recolorized from the Pavel because they're very similar. Part right? of the same family. Nice. So this can just go right back on top. So another feature that I included in the Pave or from the Pavel to the Super Stallion is there's a third engine built on um, right behind the other two. Uh -huh. So they kind of extended this section under the rotor and there's a, a hidden engine here so that's the exhaust oh, wow. coming out the back uh, looks a little bit different than the exhaust coming out of those and then there's the intake here and then they sort of transition the spine down a little bit more whereas the pay float was just stopped um, flat straight back so this tapers down more nice um, so it's fun to include that yeah it's cool getting so the, uh, the I guess the variance between similar models so it's mm -hmm. nice more power yeah yeah <laughs> So, I think that's pretty much it for features of the kit, really, if you want to talk about Yeah, figures. we can talk about the figures. Um, so it comes with five fully 360 printed minifigures. Um, got two pilots and kind of two crew for the back. Um, I believe, yeah, it's the same artwork on all the um, helicopter pilot or crew crew guys. So it's, you get four of those guys. Um, they're, they have a pretty simple, straightforward uniform, so it's, a, it's like a flight suit um, and the, a tan flight suit and then they have this kind of survival vest that I saw that was uh, appears to be um, specific to the Marines so it's kind of it's a it's a really simple flight vest essentially it's just um, the uh, oh yeah it's just it's it's the web webbing on there and pickle suit what, what pickle suit no 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 the uh, the survival vest oh yeah the survive yeah so you have the uh, nylon webs on there so that you can attach um, whatever gear that you want onto it and then a draped around their shoulders would be uh, a life vest that when you pull the cords it inflates huge it's awesome disperses snacks it disperses snacks obviously <laughs> um, and then Cody this was kind of your request this guy here um, it's it's sort of a how do you explain it's a, this guy? it's a marine expeditionary soldier yeah <laughs> uh, you know you usually don't send one guy off in a battle by himself right in a in a in a dinghy but <laughs> so we included uh, one of those zodiac boats, yes, um, and the, a soldier figure to go along with it mm -hmm. to add some more playability to the kit. Right. So that that boat can fit right into the back um, of the helicopter, or I put a couple spots in there where you can hook and pick it up. So if you ah, know, very nice. Pretend like it's in the water and they're picking it up with a hook, uh, and you can do that too. Yeah. But a lot of times I think they just drive them right up into the back mm -hmm. of the helicopter and fly away. Yeah. I've seen videos of this thing actually like pretty much fl it floats, doesn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, maybe well, the can. rotors are still going. I mean, yeah. the rotors are still going, it's obviously. Close. I mean, they drop the ramp right into the water. Yeah, there's like water coming. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Going back to the figure, this is debuting um, the Woodland camo for that Marpat, or the Woodland Marpat for the camouflage scheme. Um, turned out really great. Um, uh, I'm hoping to incorporate that in a future release as well. Uh, but this guy, he's he's a bit more uh, kind of special operations compared to your standard rank and file guy. Mm -hmm. So the gear's a bit different. Um, you know, 
uh, tailored for sort of special missions. So. And he's kit exclusive. Yeah. So you can only get him in this kit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crazy figure. So he's cool. He's got lots of different uh, different gear. So when you get the kit, you'll have fun just kind of picking apart all the different uniforms. And obviously, the kit is going to be awesome too. So. Yeah. Should be. <laughs> Anything else, Cody? Uh, I don't think so. Um, no, no. Aside from landing gear retracts, it's pretty straightforward. It just folds right up. Yeah. Um, pretty hard to not understand how that works. <laughs> uh, Ooh, what's up? What do you want? Your the door down? The door? Oh, the door goes down. <laughs> so, what's the camera doing? Camera uh, guy doing? Uh, yeah. So I removed the sentry package from the front of the helicopter. Now you just have to flur off on this weird little arm to the side. Ah. Instead of having it under the sensory package, like the payload had that big thing sticking out of the chin. Um, it's just kind of hanging off all there by himself. There we go. <laughs> and the refueling probe, and there's a landing gear door on the front as well. Yeah. And they they always seem to have it open. <laughs> I don't know why, a lot of, at least in a lot of pictures, yeah. they're open, but I'm sure they can close it, um, really do close it often when they're flying long, long distances, um, aerodynamics yeah. and such. But, yeah. All right, so this is the it. yeah CH-53E, did I get that right? Super Stallion. Yeah, Super Stallion. Uh, an all-new design by Cody Ocell. Uh, this one's been up for pre-sale um, this whole month, and um, I think there are a few left. Yeah, I think there's still some left. So hopefully by the time that this airs, that there's still going to be a few left. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, so we're super excited for this kit. Um, check out BrickMania.com if you want to uh, get some more information on this. Uh, see some cool action shots, some pictures, everything like that. Animations. Animations, yeah. yeah. Cool stuff. Um, all right, with that, that's the episode. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching.